Let's recap the last three episodes. We began our journey to the Tesla takeover from South Florida. We spent some time with friends at the Blue Ridge Mountains in Georgia and Tennessee. Spent a couple of nights in Arkansas forest and campgrounds. We almost missed two charging destinations due to bad planning and finally reached the Tesla takeover in San Luis Obispo, California. In this episode, we'll take a look at what went down at the event and begin our favorite part of the adventure. Going back home, we visited amazing forests and got to experience incredible places like the sand dunes at Pismo Beach, Yosemite National Forest, the Obsidian Dome Mountain, and more. Thank you for joining us during this epic travel adventure. Hey, thank you for sticking around. Uh, um, today is the second day of the Tesla takeover. As you can see here behind me, I have my Model Y with a full setup here on the other side of the tent and the awning on the back. And this is the day where today at noon, I'm being the moderator for one of the panels where we're gonna talk about the impact of the Tesla community and, and Tesla itself internationally. As I was walking over to the Tesla Takeover main stage, I bumped into the Hooligans team. They brought their crazy build to the event. They are changing the shape of a Model 3, turning it into a Tesla Roadster. They have been working on it for a long time and I think it won't be long before they finish it. I can't wait to see the results. The time came for my session, Uniting Across Borders, the global Tesla community. Here is the beginning of the session, but I'll leave a link to the full session in the video description. Glad you guys are here. Welcome to the Tesla Takeover 2023. Uh, my name is Rafael, and uh, I, I want to make sure that everyone here is excited as I am. Uh, so we're, we're gonna do a quick exercise here. I want everyone to stand up real quick. Let's go. Let's pull that energy from the universe. Let's stretch. And now we're gonna do jumping jacks and push-ups. Nah, nah. <laughs> Uh, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I just want you guys to be as excited as I am. This is going to be a great moment, a great conversation with Darren, Ryan, and Bernie. We're going to talk a little bit about what's happening with the Tesla community internationally. So thank you guys for coming and joining me. Don't forget to click on the link to the full session after watching this video. A few minutes after the panel, we got to meet Elon's mom, May Musk. She even remembered my Twitter handle, Teslatino. We had a great time at the event, but like all good things, the event ended and it was time for us to continue our travel adventures. Wow, that was pretty cool. The Tesla takeover sadly is over, but we had a really good time. And now we're gonna head back to other places to keep having fun. We're gonna be driving again back to Florida, but we're gonna hit some really cool places. We're gonna keep doing adventures. And uh, I can't wait for you to see everything. Let's stay connected and uh, hope you see you soon. After the event, we made plans with our friends Jimmy, Sandro, and Kyle to meet at a yet to be disclosed location. They sent us the GPS coordinates and said that we were going to love this place as it was away from the city at a federally managed mountain. We had no idea what to expect, but once we left the highway, we began to understand what they meant. Then, in the morning. Where are we? We should figure out where are we. I I don't know where we are. We're in we're on the top of the world. I think we're in Santa Maria. 
Yeah. So, so um, today, like this morning, we realized, I realized how little I am because the view behind us is just uh, insane. And uh, last night, after the Tesla takeover, the event that we were in all weekend, uh, and the main reason why we are on the West Coast, uh, when it finished, our friend here, Jimmy, told us about this uh, location. He found it. He sent me the coordinates, longitude and latitude. And uh, I embarked on a small journey of about six or seven miles off the path. So there's no paved road. It's just a beautiful trail with a lot of trees and it's just nature. And uh, Jimmy here found it a couple of days before and he had it as a secret and then he revealed that secret to us um sandro here they, they're both uh adventure travelers they 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 live on the road they're doing what i'm doing for a couple of weeks they're doing it full time and um this is like a really cool moment because we get to spend some time together we just met in person for the first time just a couple of days ago yeah. and uh, coming over to, so the guys were here, and and then there's, then there's Kyle, also, uh, like kind of a hero because Kyle is making some crazy modifications so to his Tesla Model Y, uh, but he's also very fond of nature and uh, he likes to do this kind of stuff as well. And so, uh, just less than 48 hours ago, uh, we met and uh, I. I don't know, it's really strange because it's like we met, met for many, many years. I don't know, oh, I yeah. feel that's that's how I feel. Yeah, the cool. instant uh, camaraderie and, I don't know, sense of friendship and brotherhood. Being here with these guys is just incredible. So I can show you where we are parked by the side of this mountain, which has an incredible view. Uh, and guys, <laughs> wow. It's like really it's awesome. For the friendship. Yes, absolutely. That's like one of the best views that I've had pleasure to be in first in person at. You know, like and then uh, down there, this is the road uh, that we took to get here. I think <laughs> I'm still confused. I don't, I'm not sure if that was it, but I think it is. Yeah. So we went up the, this road, come back there at the end. I will stop. That morning, we had some coffee, we spent some time with the guys, and we relaxed at the top of the mountain. This was in Santa Margarita in California. I've never seen views like this in person. The stuff that we're going to see during the rest of our trip is going to be even better. I hope you're liking what you're seeing so far. If you think that you want to do something like this, just go ahead and do it. You will not regret it. Make sure that you plan. Make sure that you're safe. But above all, make sure that you have fun. For now, it's time for us to start thinking about the next path we're taking. On our way to the next adventure, we're going to see many, many things. Thank you for joining me on this adventure. Thank you for sticking with me during this learning process that is overlanding. I hope you stick around and come back for the next episode. <laughs>